Jadron here. What's going on, guys? Up Air Controllers. What? Why do I got two of them? Um, this is the one that was originally sent to me from one of you guys for the Wi-Fi one that I have because mine's Wi-Fi. So why do I got a 5.8 gigahertz screen with another controller here? Well, that screen is pretty dope. And I was able to get the controller and the screen for $20. Um, there is a difference between these controllers internally. We're going to go over it. We're also going to go over the screen and maybe possibly be able to use the screen as a standalone. I didn't get that far yet. Um, so firstly... The battery itself on these controllers, you don't need to have that exact battery. You can use whatever LiPo battery that you would like, uh, same voltage, whatever milliamp an hour you want with a JST connection. So let's get that out of there right quick. Um, secondly, I don't have this plugged into here yet, but we will plug it in. This, uh, th this right here, your power button, go ahead and turn that on. You get red light in there. Flip it all the way over here, you get blue light in there. That is the receiver for that screen. The screen does not have a built-in receiver. I'll show you that. So the screen is plugged into the USB. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Two switches over. We should get an up air on there. Bamzo. We are tied on to this. If it doesn't automatically do it for you, you do have a search button. That plug right there, the little black plug with the button in it, that's your search button. Um, so now, as you can see, I'm gonna lift this up. There's no trickery here. I can now use this with any AIO that I would like to. But there's an issue because the transmitter is not in here, or the receiver, excuse me. The receiver is not in here to receive the signal from the transmitter. Um, it's actually in here. And this, like we'll, we'll, we'll turn this one on and I'll show you. This one doesn't even have the plug, the plug in here with the little button. Come on now, it's moving, it's a mover. Go ahead and pop that up. Just show you inside here. There's nothing in there. There's no plug, there's no nothing. So this won't light up any color if you switch this over twice because there's nothing powering it. However, the USB is getting power and this will power up, but you can't you can't sync to nothing because it doesn't have a receiver attached to it. All right, so the screen is now attached to that USB port right there. We're gonna go ahead and slide this over. One, we get a red. Two, we get a nothing. But that USB is powered. But there's no way to search. There's no way to search for your FPV signal because, again, that light that we've seen in this one is for the receiver. Um, so basically, it's just powering this up and it's basically useless. Um, that's the, It's good to know that that actually works because... Essentially, you'd be able to charge your cell phone off of there because this is for the Wi-Fi one. But my ideas and my thoughts are to throw an AIO on top of um, on top of this up air drone and be able to use this. Just as well as if I'm flying the Bugs 2, this is a dope screen. This is larger than the majority of screens that I have, which are about under half the size of that um so that's why i want to do this so let's go ahead and shut everything down we're gonna pop this open we're gonna have a look and see if we can make this a standalone screen all right guys so we have this popped open this is the back part of the case the part that you see right there um and behind this spot right here on this one there's a button on this one there is no button because this is a wi-fi one uh and what that button's attached to is right there and that is your receiver this gray wire that goes up to the antenna and it's the only wire that goes up to the antenna this is your antenna for your screen um that's your 5.8 gigahertz antenna off of that then we see this positive and negative, which goes to the JST connection, um, which I'm unsure where that goes because we got tape here. But simply here, the plugs that we have simple here is a positive and negative powering this. And uh, positive, negative, and video. Hmm. Positive, negative, and video. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Positive, negative, and video. And it's all fed to this board here. 
So I believe that board has absolutely nothing to do, which I'm looking over here. Not sure what that positive and negative is attached to. Um, I believe this board is quite simply just for this. So I'm going to look at this a little bit further. I'm going to see if I can get this out and uh, operate the screen on my own. Uh, be able to operate the screen without having it in the controller. Because, again, I don't have 5.8 gigahertz one. $20. I got the controller and the screen for $20. If I could utilize it on whatever I'd like to, that'd be epic. Okay, guys, I got that entire unit out. Um, this is the USB spot with the toggle on it to turn on and off. We have the screen plugged into it. Our positive and negative was simply the wire coming out of the back of the controller. I now have it connected to a 7.4 volt. Um, that way you guys don't have to, oh, now, now I can't use my controller because I got that on something else and I had a battery on it. This is 11.1 volt. This will, this, this setup I'll show you will run on a 7.4. So you don't have to use the dedicated one for your controller for this if you do decide to do this um, your antenna again is right here and we're gonna go ahead and turn it on simply by pushing this toggle you can see that's lit up we get the up air symbol we have image bam's up let's show J drone bam J drone what up so uh that is definitely doable um if you have a 5.8 gigahertz up up there you want to use this for something else you would be able to take this out now the only other question is did we just make this controller un unusable i'm thinking not but we'll find out i think this plug right here that plugged into this port right there i think that plug is the positive and negative for this board for this whole controller so we're going to run that out of where the normal one was ran out and we're going to get a connection on there. We're going to connect it up and see if this uh, controller will power up. All right, guys. So I've ran the positive and negative out of there and then I connected a, a very long connection on this. This is just, just temporary for now. But um, I suggest running your connection before you're screwing it together because the positive and negative that I showed you isn't very long and it's really hard to really splice those wires. I kind of just have them taped down. But look, we're looking for a beep and a red light once we connect the stock battery. I did try a 7.4 volt and it did power up, um, but beep, 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 beep. So I'm assuming that's a low voltage alarm. And then we'll just show you with this one we'll get our hands out of the way i am uh well i want to show you that i'm plugging in this battery let's see here it's a tight fit on the connection that i have bam there you go you have your red light i guarantee this uh this controller would work you could very easily run a toggle up to where that toggle was and uh connect your positive and negative to the to toggle and uh run an accessory wire super simple to do that um basically your positive that you would run out of there would you be your accessory and then you'd run a straight positive down to uh your power um so controller is still good uh we do only have one antenna that's that's all it was it was only ever one antenna running to the board for the controller that's right behind here the other antenna as you can see over there is for that now i'm going to try to tidy that all up really quickly and we'll show you end product and there we have it guys that's the final product um we have our switch off to the left board kind of hanging out we could do a cleaner job this was a really quick uh really quick deal and um we have another board hanging there with our uh channel switcher and what we're going to do i'm just going to try to mount this uh this camera here just to show you how this works so that should be good there we have our switch right here we're going to pull down on it twice you can see the blue light behind there we get the up air Amzo FPV standalone. Um, obviously, on a setup like this, I still have the bracket. We can run that bracket right down to there if we wanted to put this on there, or we can just get a uh, we can just get anything that'll hold a lanyard. We'll be able to just pinch it on the back. Same type of setup like that, guys. I'm J Drone. 
this still works um, still functions there's nothing wrong with it it only ever had one antenna to the controller the other antenna is right there sticking off the back of there uh, guys if you uh, e even if you have the Wi-Fi one like me I have a Wi-Fi one essentially that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put an AIO on top of it BAM I'm gonna have FPV and I'm also gonna be able to record SD card to the to the stock camera that's on a gimbal uh, so that's gonna be pretty epic. Um, there's there's stuff you can do, dude. I got this for twenty dollars. Controller, monitor for twenty dollars. Now I got a standalone that operates off of a lipo for what ten bucks. Figure I paid ten dollars for the controller, ten for that. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns down below. Definitely get at me later.